617, time now for your tour in the entertainment world. So many of us are looking forward to getting back out to music festivals as restrictions are easing in the pandemic. And today, Mark S. Allen joins us live to talk about a 1969 festival that outdid Woodstock. Mark, tell us about that and the movie that it inspired. Yeah, I want to get to that, but you, you just missed the cutest thing, a, a mama duck and like a hundred tiny little ducklings just crossed my shot. Let's get back to that movie that you're talking about, Bria. This movie blew me away. It's gonna blow everybody away. It might be one of the most important music documentaries I've ever seen. Definitely entertaining, and you need to see it in a theater, and you can, or later on on Hulu. It's called The Summer of Soul. What is that? In 1969, sure, we've all heard about Woodstock, but at the same time, there was a concert that drew a half million people for a celebration of culture and music, and then some. Uh, highlights for me of this movie, footage you've never seen before of Sly and the Family Stone. There's your big Northern California connection. And also Stevie Wonder. I talked to the director, Quest Love, yes, the front man for Roots, Grammy Award winner, about that moment. Listen. He, I was weeping when I saw little Stevie Wonder. The beginnings of yeah. Stevie I, I will say that, um, you know, I, I kept, I have 40 hours of footage to deal with. And so what I did was I created like one MPEG loop that was on constant 24 hour run inside my house. So in my bedroom, I kept this on 24 hours. In my living room, 24 hours. In my kitchen, at my studio, in my office, I had computer monitors in the bathroom, like no place. On my telephone, when I'm on the plane, I just, I just totally uh, absorbed myself for about four to four to five months of just watching and keeping notes of what gave me goosebumps. And, you know, that Stevie Wonder drum solo that starts the film, that was the perfect crash landing. I needed something that just gobsmacked you to let you know how real this was. And just to watch him solo with such joyous abandonment to me was the perfect way to crash like land this into our lives crash land it does i mean it starts off with a bang that stevie wonder drum solo uh it's one of the most impressive things i've ever seen and to know that nine out of ten people had never even heard of it spike lee even said he had never heard of this festival until quest love discovered this found footage and made this awesome movie it is summer of soul i highly recommend it back to you some of my favorite music i'm gonna have to check it out mark thanks